been struggling with your blood glucose levels, your blood sugar, your insulin, maybe insulin resistance, this video is all about how to lower your A1C levels. And this is something that you may have had checked in your blood work. Your A1C, also called the HbA1c or glycated hemoglobin, is a blood test that measures your average blood sugar or blood glucose levels over the past two to three months. It's usually used to diagnose and or monitor diabetes. Now, the normal reference ranges for your A1C levels the normal is usually below 5.7%. If you're considered pre-diabetic, that would be between 5.7 and 6.4%, so a little bit higher, and true diabetes would be 6.5% or higher for your A1C levels. Now, what your A1C is reflecting is how much glucose is actually attached to your hemoglobin, which is the protein in your red blood cells. And the higher the A1C, the higher the long-term blood sugar, and that's indicative of this is being has been an issue for a while. Now there are some lifestyle and biological factors that can actually affect or cause an elevated A1C reading even if you are totally healthy and it's not necessarily indicating true diabetes. So if you are seeing that higher A1C level on your blood work there's no need to cause you know major panic at the beginning it's something that needs to be checked over time but here are some of the reasons why it could be a little bit higher compared to a pre previous test. Okay, so the first reason why your A1C could be higher than normal is that you ate a lot of carbohydrates in the few days before your actual blood test. So it could, of course, over time be an indicator of pre-diabetes or diabetes with your higher A1C. But if you really loaded up on carbs right before your blood work, that could be and significantly raise that A1C level. Another factor, number two, is poor sleep or chronic stress before your blood work. So so we know that lack of sleep can elevate your cortisol levels, which can then increase your blood glucose levels and raise that A1C level subtly over time. Okay, number three is sedentary lifestyle. So if you haven't been active moving around, and especially for longer periods of being inactive, that can significantly raise your blood glucose levels. It can lead to insulin resistance and can nudge that A1C level a little bit higher. Another cause for a higher A1C is dehydration. So if you haven't properly hydrated, and labs also will vary in their reporting in terms of the levels of your A1C, so if you're to test in one lab versus another lab, it could be a little bit different in terms of your results. There are also genetic variants of hemoglobin. So if you have, and if you have African descent, Mediterranean, Southeast Asian descent, uh, things like, and variants with your hemoglobin S or C can artificially raise your A1C readings and you don't necessarily have a high blood sugar. And that's something that you and your doctor would probably discuss in terms of, you know, where you're from. And another reason it could be iron deficiency or anemia could also falsely raise your A1C levels. But more importantly, here are some tips, and I've got six of them, how to lower your A1C levels if they are in fact high. You know potentially that there is insulin resistance, you have issues with regulating your blood glucose, maybe you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, maybe you're having difficulty losing weight and you know that your blood sugar regulation is a problem. Well, here are six tips to really help to lower those A1C levels. Okay, tip number one is to get regular sunlight exposure. So getting sunlight exposure, as found in this research can significantly improve not only your insulin but also your glucose and balancing out your glucose levels and that's why typically we tend to eat more fruit when it's locally available in the summertime and that's because we're supposed to be under that natural sunlight to help with the metabolism of that extra sugar so if that kind of makes sense for you this becomes really important for your a1c levels okay tip number two is to exercise we know that exercise doing something like squats after a meal can really help to balance out that insulin secretion and of course help with lowering that blood glucose. Number three is proper hydration. We knew that you know being dehydrated before your A1C blood work um, can raise your A1C levels so making sure that you're properly hydrated at all times is really going to help with regulating your blood glucose as well. Okay tip number four is to lower your stress. We know that being out in nature will significantly 
significantly lower your cortisol levels. And we know that stress, as it's related to what's happening with cortisol, something called pregnenolone steel, raising your blood glucose levels, leptin resistance is something that I talk about in my content. It's something that you definitely want to make sure that you're spending more natural time out in nature, relaxing, de-stressing, deep breathing, getting grounded, super important for lowering your A1C levels as well. Okay, tip number five is to increase the fiber in your diet and definitely having less of those sugar spiking carbohydrates, especially the refined carbohydrates, is gonna go a long way to help your blood sugar but your A1C levels as well. And number six is to make sure you're getting enough sleep. Now we know that our circadian rhythms dictate how all of our hormones are secreted. Insulin is a big one as well, of course, from the pancreas to help to regulate our blood glucose levels. And by following Mother Nature's prescription, of course, the subtitle of my book, this is going to be really, really important. So reconnecting with nature, getting grounded, getting that sunlight exposure, de-stressing, getting that good night's sleep will go a long way to help your A1C levels and balancing your blood sugar levels. Okay, now, you may be curious, how do I get out in the sun? How do I get that natural sun exposure and to how to do it safely? Well, I've got all of those tips in another video. I really want you to check this one out. Six safe sun exposure tips. I'll see you there.